There is always a lot of painting on the wall, and there is no room to reflect. So, by leaving half of it blank, I wanted to give room for the audience to reflect. In addition to visiting museums, it is important to the artists to be exposed to New York City's contemporary art scene. As a result, a demanding itinerary was planned to allow them to visit scores of galleries and experience hundreds of artworks by lesser known artists throughout the five boroughs. However, this intense exposure produced an unanticipated effect among some of the Tibetan artists, leading them to question themselves and reevaluate their own artwork. Tibetan artists have a very special kind of environment. And what we come in contact with in many, many aspects is very traditional. Temples and the tanka paintings and the wall paintings, as well as folk art. But towards contemporary art comparatively, we have very little opportunity to directly have contact or to participate with contemporary art. Yeah. So I paint on all these. 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 And in New York, we got to directly see so much and directly see it in the museums and galleries that it almost put us in a rather uncomfortable and awkward position. You have to question yourself. Are we or are we not contemporary artists? In Tibet, the artists are very focused and very interested with their national identity, their national culture. The artists are striving to create works which are really associated with their distinctive culture, whereas in America, because the country is composed of various nationalities, people don't have this obsession with a national identity. My question is, is our national culture our burden because it's associated with our work? And so there's a conflict within my head regarding art and nationality, or nationality and identity. Should we need a national identity to express our work, or should we concern ourselves more with our individuality? From an artistic point of view, this is very important to me. And therefore, while I'm in America, I want to gain and share experiences and learn from the contemporary artists about how they negotiate between national identity and individual expression. Some have come to other conclusions. In New York galleries, I've seen works by younger artists that are very, very contemporary, very cutting edge. But I've been feeling that they are lacking spiritually, or lacking in a personal sensibility, in a personal experience in these works. 
I can really appreciate these new contemporary artworks, but I do not necessarily personally like them. The artists in America have a very creative point of view. Their views are very fresh, and it's sometimes a bit intimidating. Therefore, it certainly has a huge impact on me. At the same time, even though there's a certain distance, I still have very strong feelings toward my own work, because I have always been true to myself. And therefore, I believe my work does represent a certain amount of the Tibetan culture. Sering Dorje, Sarang Dadrup, Gadi, and Biamba Kingda all want to maintain their connection with their own culture. At the same time, they want to investigate more modern, more international art movements in search of cultural exchange and parity. It is the same desire that has animated many non-Western artists as they negotiate the space between traditional modes of making art and the new, more globalized paradigms that will necessarily represent the art of our evolving century.